Okay, we've had a new prop shaft turn up, Euro. And as we can all see, the UJ joints are considerably larger. So we should be fine. We're gonna dry fit that today. And we're gonna start repairing these prop shaft guards. Um, already started grinding off the old welds. We'll just see where we get to with this all. So, um, almost might have to go the other way. A bit close, is it? Well, to the yoke, because they're so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. yeah. Might have to shorten them then. Okay, I think it's just you've got to put them in that way round. Have we got enough shoulder? They're not hitting the shoulder, are they? Bolts on um, No, they're not. They're perfect. They're perfect. Uh, it's got a little close. split washer there as well. Oh, okay. You don't want to bind up on the end of the thread to not get no. like, torque. Shield goes in, but oh, see, this is all bent to shit. Um, so I guess we'll try and straighten it, and straighten that repair out. it. Yeah, Keep. have to weld a bit on, back on, yeah. bash it around a bit, and then it had that other bit on here, didn't it? Right. Yeah. And we had to sort of TIG weld that in place from memory. It makes it look off, but I think it's actually just the shield, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, I think you've got plenty of room there, we're just going to do some bashing, aren't we, Rummy? Really? There we go. And there. Just needs all the other little bits welding on now. <laughs> okay, I'm just starting to clean up the, uh, the old welds on here, because we're going to reuse it on the prop guard. All right, here we have the new prop shaft installed. That adapter is like the old one, and so it's a much cleaner install. And um, we've repaired the prop shaft guard, welded up on the lugs. Plan now is to do the prop inspections that we do after every race, um, which will include uh, die pen tests, which I'll go through in a second. Here's the die pen cans, if you haven't seen it or heard of it before. So you use a cleaner um, to clean everything up. Then you spray everything with a like a red dye. Um, that soaks into the cracks. And then we then clean it off again and use the developer, which is like a chalk kind of talcum powder stuff. If anything's left, that will uh, we'll see the lines. So... This is one prop that failed the other month, so they will eventually fatigue. And there is a life to these propellers, unfortunately, for how expensive they are, but there's a lot of work going on. They're doing a lot. Eventually the, uh, the steel fails. Yeah. Must be important if he's got his your glasses on. So what are you doing there, Gary? These tiny little nicks that we've obviously caught a couple of things. Oh, small. Right, it's nearly gone now. Oh yeah. It's all not so pretty close. Right. Um, there was another one which I've sort of managed to get rid of mostly no there. Yeah, so it's, but it was bent quite oh, okay. a bit there. So it's come back all right. It's, uh, It'd be nice to be able to afford a nice new pair, but this is uh, <laughs> the only pair we have. But we've got to look after them, so right. yeah, hopefully we'll find we haven't got any cracks in them, mm. and they're good to go again. 
So this is the red dye penetrant. And the idea is if there is a crack, that will uh, soak into the crack, will wipe off the excess, and then it will show when we put the white dye on. But hopefully there won't be any cracks, because that gets expensive. This is the Velopron and can't see, I mean there's a little bit of red, you always get a little bit, but we're looking for like lines and cracks, which luckily I can't see. So maybe we can clean these up, put them back in a box. I mean this has got a bit more red on it, but again no, no lines. Mm, no. Fine, all right. That should be it. That's all for this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.